Hey boys and girls, this is Larry, UBRero.com. Check me out. Hey, today is April 7th, 2018. I am working on the largest project I have ever done. What a headache this thing has been. I'm trying to make everything functional in my sawmill. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of pulleys going on down in there. The saw turns. You can see the steam engine working. And then right here, coming down to there, will be my uh, insole. That's what I'm having trouble with because I've got to turn uh, directions. i got to go from left to right to north to south, and I'm having a hard time. Now, I am not complete with this by all means. I don't have any detailing. I don't have it painted. I don't have the lights up. Nothing. But these pulleys have been driving me up a wall because I've had such a hard time trying to synchronize everything because I don't want this thing going so fast that it just flies itself apart. So as you notice, most of the pulleys are about the same size to keep the same speed. And I had to use an electric motor, which I really hate using because you can hear how loud it is. I wanted to use an aquarium pump to actually pump that Jensen steam uh, cylinder, but I can't find one strong enough without making it go 90 mile an hour. And the bad thing about the air pump is if it stops in the middle of uh, the cam, it won't start again. You gotta give it a little push. Where the electric one, every time you turn it on, it goes, okay? So let me uh, shut this down because it is kind of noisy. And I'll explain to you a little bit about what I got going here. Uh, let's see, okay. This pulley right here actually spins, okay? But you see it right here, I could pull this down, tighten that up, and then that will pull the rope, which will bring the log up the sled. But, you know, that's only a one-shot deal, because once it's up there, you know, you got to unwind and do it all over again. So I'll just leave it hooked down here and let it just spin, okay? But you can see back in there, I put a little spring for the return and everything so that, you know, you can push on. It's got counterweights. You know, it's pretty much like something they would have possibly used back then. As the logs come up, they fall down to the uh, sled, and then the sled takes them through the saw and cuts them up. Here, the end saw would cut off the rough edges throws it on that roller. When he cuts both ends, then he'll transfer to the main roller, and it'll come down, and then you can see they're starting to stack some lumber right now. But as you can see, I've got a long, long ways to go. But I just want to give you a little update as to what I'm doing. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you're going to attempt something like this, I found some great material that works for a belt. It's kind of spongy rubber, so it has little air holes in it like that make it suction grip, which is great because plastic wheels and steel wheels, I found slip an awful lot. You know, you can barely have any tension on them and, and, and they slip. Or all these are all wood. And all you got to do is grab any one, just about any one of them and they, they'll all spin. See? But they don't come long enough so, you know, naturally, you know, I got to piece it together, you know. And then what I do is I sand the edges off if I know they're going to hit somewhere. Like right here, I put a piece of uh, smooth plastic there so that the belt would run real good over it. But, you know, as you get to going on something like this, you learn all the tricks of it. And, and, and even still, like today, I came out down today. Everything worked perfect last night. came down today, and my main drive belt was slipped. It was too big. It, like it grew overnight. I don't know what happened to it, so I had to put a whole new belt on it. But anyway, boys and girls, this is what I got going. If you like, please leave a like. If you got any comments, I'd appreciate hearing from you. Other than that, this is Larry. Over and out. P.S. This is my workbench. I'm not kidding you. This is what I'm working on right now. Look at all these belts. I'm trying all kinds of things. Strings, yarn, leather. The best stuff I found is this rubber stuff right here. Man, this stuff is like, it actually has a, a, a feel of like le leather itself, and it does a fantastic job gripping wooden spindles. Now, you take a plastic one like this, this thing is so damn smooth, it just, you know, 
any little resistance and it'll spin right over that. Same with these steel ones. I even got some of these uh, bobbers. I got a couple bobbers in there as um, slack adjusters. Uh, I had to put a slack adjuster on the main one because it just slipped too much. Now here's what I'm working on right now. This is going to be the end cut and it'll swing like this and then the motor will be up here in the head and it'll belt drive down to here you can see you know i'm just messing around i've never done anything like this i'll never do it again this is this is a mess i mean i'm not kidding you i'm just having a, a fit trying to get all this stuff to work right without putting too much pressure and bogging the whole system down but give you an idea of what i'm going through this is it so if you're going to do anything like this and you want belts uh go to hobby lobby and uh, I buy this stuff in these sheets like I showed you before at one time. They're like 98 cents. You get all kinds of colors. You can see how thick they are. This is called um, Silly Winks. Silly Winks foam, foam sheets. Do a great job. A buck. Can't beat it. All right, guys. I'm out of here. See ya.